Welcome to Zenio Payroll. This video will walk you through the steps to set up your organization. Hope you have watched the sign up and overview video. If you've not, I insist you watch it before getting started with setting up your organization. I have placed the video link in the description. Once the sign up process is completed, you may sign into your Zenio Payroll account and complete a few more steps before you run your first payroll. On the dashboard, click on the Getting Started link over here. You'll find a set of steps, some of which are completed and some pending. It's time we complete all the pending steps one by one. First, click on the organization details. Upload the logo and the website URL. The other details are already filled up during the sign-up process. Click Save. Next the Taxes tab, the tax details were already filled in during the sign-up process. Then click on Add Holiday Policy. Click on the Add button. Enter the holiday policy name and holiday policy description. Click Save. Once it gets added to the list, click on the policy name and click on Add. Enter the holiday name, start and end date. and save now create more holidays these are the holidays that belong to this holiday policy you can also create more than one holiday policy if needed moving on to the next step let's create an expense policy click on add enter the policy name and description click save It gets added to the list. Now click on it to assign expense types to the policy. Click on the assign button. Choose the expense type, the maximum amount that can be reimbursed and the frequency. Choose whether you want to allow amount overflow in case of unexpected cost overruns. Then enter the maximum number of claims that can be availed per month or year. Choose whether the expense expires and whether the receipt is required. Click Save. You can assign any number of expense types to an expense policy. Now add employees. Click on the Add button. Enter all the necessary details including personal information and official information. Finally, click Save. You may also upload employee details in bulk using the import function. Finally create batches. Click on add batch. Enter the batch name. And specify the work schedule that is mentioned the week offs. Full working days. And a half working days for the batch. Finally, click save. So you have set up your organization successfully. Make sure you like, subscribe and get notified so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Let us know if you have any queries. Thanks for watching.